Hello, my friends. Welcome to Open Math Camp. We continue our series of tutorials on arithmetic, and today we are going to talk about basic arithmetic operations. Arithmetic operations. such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Also, we will learn arithmetic operations as rising a number to a power and finding the, the root of the number. Let's get started. Like us and subscribe to see new videos on Open Math Camp. Um, arithmetic operations, uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division are main operations in arithmetic and um, these operations let's denote our operation as a star so this operation can be any of these four arithmetic operation in this case assume we have two numbers a and b where a and b is are an element of real line or a and b are real numbers once again this symbol in mathematics stands for element of so assume a and b are real numbers and when we perform arithmetic operation with these two numbers, in this case, the result will be also some number C, also real number. And um, only exception is division by zero, because in mathematics, if we divide the number by zero, this operation is meaningless. Uh, assume we have a number a, which is not zero, and a is an element of, it. this is real, any number, which is not zero, and we write a over zero, and this operation is meaningless because if we assume this is equal to b, then we have, if we multiply the both sides of this to 0, we have a equal to b multiplied to 0. But we have left part not equal to 0, but the right part is 0 because b is multiplied to 0 and the result will be 0. Uh, so that's why this is the meaningless and division by 0 is also meaningless operation. Let's talk about first talk about addition and subtraction. These two operations addition and subtraction are opposite operation and we will talk about this later let's first about let's first talk about definition actually addition and subtraction have no definition and we can describe addition as the process of combining two, num two numbers say 9 plus 2 equal to 11 and these two elements 9 and Two, two numbers called add-ins 
and 11 is called sum. Another example is 7.5 plus 3 equal to equals to 10, 10 and 10.5. And this operation can be described using the real line. Assume we have a real line. We discussed real line in a previous session. Assume we have a point 7 and 5. Then if we add number 3 to this point, then we have to move to the right side of the real line by the amount of 3. And result will be 10.5. So um, plus is moving to the right side of the, of the real line. Uh, when we perform subtraction and we write 7 and 5 minus 3, in this case, uh, this is this can be described as moving to the left side of the real line. minus 3 and it will be obviously 4 and 5 4.5 so this is a description of this operation and we cannot define this operation uh, it's very hard to define this uh, next example assume uh, we have 2 minus 5. In this case, if we have a 2, and here we have a 0, then minus 5 it can be described as moving to the left side by the amount of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 5. And this will be minus 3. So this is obvious operation. And as we already said, the result of this operation is also real number. Um, it's imp important to understand that addition addition and subtraction are these two operations um, opposite operations what we mean by this assume we have two then if we write plus three we will have five and uh, opposite operation to the plus is minus and we can go back uh, writing minus 3. So 2 plus 3 is 5 and 5 minus 3 is again initial point which is 2. So plus and minus are opposite operation and further we will talk about multiplication and division and they are also opposite opposite operation operations to each other. Let's further describe multiplication and division. These two operations. Multiplication, first let's talk about the multiplication. Multiplication is, I will give uh, definition which is quite easy to understand and to remember. This is like several, several addition. 
several additions. Uh, and multiplication is like if we add the number to itself several times. For example, if we write if we write two times three, this means two three times. Two plus two plus two. We have to add two to itself, and this is done three times. So two plus two plus two, three twos. We have two, 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 three times, and this will be six. This will be six. Along the same line, uh, if we write five times two, then this is five plus five. And this is done two times which is equal to 10. Along the same line, 4 times 5 is equal to 4 plus 4, plus 4 plus 4, and plus 4. And this is done 5 times, which is equal to 20. In this case, 4 is called multiplicand. Multi 5 is called multiplier. And 20 is called product and product as I said is also an element of the real numbers the set of real numbers and next uh, let's talk about division <clears throat> 